Hey guys, Spiritify91 here. With back with another review of, of of the brand new series Halo Reach. As you can see, I got my hands on a noble well stand okay, I'll just leave him down. Noble seven. Toys R Us slash Comic Con exclusive. Yeah. My first Comic Con exclusive ever. Yes, I know. I would have got the re I mean uh bleh, the recon but eh, I didn't really feel like it. So yeah, I'm just gonna read you his bio and if the camera stops shaking. Just gonna read you it. Noble Seven is the first and only limited edition Bungie themed Spartan action figure created exclusively. <clears throat> well, I'll start at the top. You know. Just forget that. Welcome to Reach, you are Unity's latest weapon in humanity's war against the Alien Covenant. A battlefield scavenger and master of odd hoc argumentation, you have the supreme ability to adapt to any combat situation. Noble 7 is the first and only limited edition bungee themed Spartan action figure created exclusively, eh, exclusively for Comic Con 2010 based on the iconic, iconic class of Spartan 3 Super Soldiers featured in the upcoming game Halo Reach. Noble 7 comes outfitted with a custom armor loadout, a studio inspired paint job, and a lively design by a team of artists from inside Bungie's top secret lair. No Halo points. Which they should really. Maybe you know? Because I think they have like a recon variant in Reach of like the helmet and armor or something. They could. Redo Recon! Yeah. So, yeah. So here's the figure. Nice. It's really nice. Uh, yeah, I can't get them all in my camera. I'd have to put them on the way back and you can barely see them. So he's pretty nice. If you could see that little spot, it's like white. Camera's not very good. But it's actually the bungee logo, like the, I mean, well, it's a, I can't say it's a bungee logo. But it's a hand with, uh, like, a lightning bolt, like Zeus's lightning bolt, and a seven. Yeah. Okay, so he comes with an AR. Hayward's AR, sorry. And a fragmentation grenade, which is actually pretty different than the other ones. But I see, yeah, the top part is a little bit smaller. And then this is more like an oval. I mean, circle. Yeah. Okay, so, okay. The stuff that is removable, Adam, is... Tell me, comment on the comment section, I'm not too sure. But I was trying to take it, I'm not too sure if that's upside down. Okay, so, yeah. This armor, which has a longer peg. Has a longer peg. And then this one has like a little stub pig. And then the just plate. Uh, had to struggle with it a little bit, but got it off. Yeah. And then of course the head's removable, but I don't feel like doing that. Okay, let me just put up all the armor back on. Okay, so. There are some actually attachment points on this guy. Right here on the on the arm, the forearm right here, you can see this little peg. So something I guess there's making they're making something that could go on the right arm. And then if you look on the shin right there, you see that little hole. Yeah. So maybe a shin guard? Same on the other one. Yeah, I have terrible lighting over here. I don't know why, but yeah. So, yeah. Then I know on some figures, like back here, where this pouch is, they have like this little stub. So, I guess that's why. Not too sure if their grenade bell is removable. It looks like it, but 
I don't want to trust it. I don't want to break it and have to super glue it on. But this is a freaking astonishing figure. I was actually... The only real thing that sucks about this one that I got is that this arm is way loose. See? Yes. Barely tap it and I'll swing forward and back. This one? Nope. Okay, so articulation is uh, I think 26 moving parts. Doesn't say. I'm pretty sure it is, or maybe more. Uh, nope, doesn't say. I'm not too sure how many moving parts he has, but you know. But they replace like all of them with cog joints. It's cog joint here, well except for the neck right here. And you could actually do a whole 360 with the head. Can look up pretty far. Look down pretty good too. Cog joint. Cog joint and elbows. Well that one's loose, but yeah. And a cog joint in the wrist. Yep. And it could the wrist could go 360 and and you could go in and out. Yeah. Waist articulation, pretty good. Yeah, I say about as good. See, okay, leg can go out that far. They really hid the leg this time. It, it doesn't look like, you know, the they, they covered it up. Can go like that. Cog joint. Cog joint. And yes, he does have toe articulation. Whoops. Ah, super foot. I mean ankle. Ankle joint keeps on moving. Like, just slightly, but it is. Ah, let me try on this one. See? Goes up about a smidge. And then goes down about, like, to right there. Yeah, it goes up about, like, right there. And then, you know, it stops. Well, this is a great figure. If you have the chance to pick him up, I would definitely. I give this figure a 5 out of 5. That's how good that is. That he is. And it's like, oh, I forgot to mention this. It's actually, he looks all battle damage. It's cool. It's not like too much battle damage. It's just enough to make it look like he's been in a lot of battles. I know people are saying, yeah, you know, he was the last noble. He was the last member of noble team and that he died. But I'm pretty sure that is probably true. Because I'm pretty sure that he is. I don't think they're going to be. Yeah, getting another. In fact, he says that, um, what's his name? I had his name. Well, the sniper. He says, you know, is this our new number six? That's horrible. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. So technically, he probably could have been the last number six. Okay, so yeah. Great figure, five out of five. You have the chance, pick him up. Like I said, you can get him off of Toys R Us dot com. I'm not too sure if they're in stock because I ordered this one about probably a week ago and my and it didn't get shipped down until like it didn't get here till today. This is actually supposed to be a birthday present, but I found it. Okay, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.